It's been almost five days. I feel like I owe you something. <laughs> just, 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 just a little treat. I don't, know. <laughs> I don't have a schedule. Okay. I don't know if I could stick to a schedule because I tried on my playlist channel to like post. What was it? Every Saturday, every Sunday. I think it was every Sunday. Did not happen. <laughs> I haven't posted on it in like a year. <laughs> um. So I just kind of post whenever I get something and when I talk about. <laughs> so. This topic is kind of like, why am I talking about it if I'm one of the people doing it? <laughs> but it infuriates me because I have nothing to do at home. So I'm sitting on YouTube all the time, pretty much, you know? So it affects me. <laughs> I don't know. Because what I want to talk about is that YouTube and TikTok are so fucking bland. And it's pissing me off. <laughs> because, okay. I do watch them. Like commentary videos and like documentaries and whatnot that people make and like reviews of stuff but it, it gets so boring something new comes out everyone talks about it every single channel talks about it and then that fades away and something new pops up everyone talks about it and it's just a continuous cycle you know everyone has to talk about the same thing because nothing happens and that just turns into clones like I wouldn't say I have, I have like a big personality you know but I, I have something <laughs> I feel like rather than like a lot of channels that just do the exact same thing you know and like I've said it before this is a hobby and I'm not making money off it Maybe I will in the future. I don't know, but it's not gonna be my main work It's just gonna be like a little side thing just to get my art out there because I have tried for so many fucking years <laughs> So I figured this was like the last thing to do, you know And then again, I want to say thank you to everyone who compliments my art because it means a lot to me like a lot because I've been lost in like art and art styles for so many fucking years so, thank you. <laughs> but yeah, that's the main reason I'm here. Just talking about whatever the fuck I want to talk about. Whenever I want to talk about it. Like a little surprise. Like suddenly I post, you know? <laughs> I don't tease much. I just I just post. Um, but other people have schedules and... You know when they're gonna pop up, like, sometimes I skin, I guess. But then they just talk about the same thing that everyone else has talked about. Like, currently, it's the Megamind 2 movie that we don't talk about because it's shit. Um, everyone's talking about that. And the fucking Oompa Loompa fucking chocolate factory experience. It's like, can you not talk about anything else? Anything else? So, recently, because there's so many people do the exact same thing or they do like commentary and it's like you have nothing to say though you just <laughs> you just sit there and like reenact what the person in the video did and that's all you do and then you jump to the next one i can mention some channels but i'm not going to just in case but you know i'm just i'm just saying with the same fucking minecraft or skateboard stuff in the background it's and they're always like 8 to 10 minutes. It's like, you're boring. You're bland. I don't want to watch that. But then I get bored. And that's the only thing on my recommended. You know, it's like, ugh. But what I found recently is that I enjoy. Because like, some channels pop up that are so, like, really tiny channels. And they're so entertaining. They're so fun. Especially like people playing FNAF for the first time and stuff. It's hilarious. I love it. Like I find more joy in that because I feel like that's what YouTube was for. 
not all of these commentary channels like I am their audience too like I am subscribed and I watch the videos but they're not entertaining I'm just bored and I need something to pass the time you know like I only have like very few YouTubers that actually enjoy watching, like Markiplier, for one. I don't watch him much, but I do every now and again. There's Danny Gonzalez. I've been watching him for years. I like watching his content. Curtis Connor, I'm a little like on edge about because uh, I don't know. I like Danny better. <laughs> I don't know. Like, they do kind of the same thing, just talk about, like, those two, like, talk about what's popular, but it's like, every time something happens, I go onto my YouTube, so many people, just on the recommended, same fucking thing, same thing they talk about, or just, just sit there with, like, a 4K camera and a huge microphone and just stare into your soul while they just talk about this one thing, it's like... How is that entertaining, exactly? Like, I feel like YouTube was made just to, like, post your hobbies or, you know, home videos. Or just have fun, but now it's literally just commentary and reaction stuff. It's so fucking boring. It's so black and white. It's... I hate being on YouTube, honestly, but I have nothing else to do. And then... TikTok, you know, so boring too. Oh my god, there's so, it, it, like you can get those TikToks where they like have a show at the top half of the screen and then something completely different at the bottom half. Like you just joining in or ruining people's like attention span and shit. Just for like a few thousand likes. And they always use like the weirdest shows. Or it's just like random like movie scenes that they play off as like a real thing almost. Like I miss 2020 TikTok where people were creative and like musically and stuff. Sure people did the same thing over and over again but at least there were some tweaks. And it was fun, like it was a dancing app and people were creative and like in 2019, 2018, when people were painting phone cases and calculators and their walls without <laughs> getting caught, like trying to do it without people catching them. But now it's just content farms everywhere. The same on YouTube. Something gets popular, it's everywhere. And it ruins everyone's <laughs> mental health. It's so boring. And I didn't mention this earlier, but I do also miss, like, like I said I watch Markiplier, I also used to watch Albert stuff, which I've talked about before. He was so fucking funny, now he's just bland too. Because everyone needs to be, like, chained to all these rules or else they're not going to make money. But then you also have people doing the most extreme thing to get money because, of course, everyone wants money for some reason. You know? <laughs> like, I hate influencers with such a huge, like... I don't want to be one. That's not what I'm planning to do here. I'm planning to get my art out there and finally start a small business that I've been waiting to do for years and years. <laughs> like, I'm doing this to get my art out there. To show that I can be <laughs> something, I guess. <laughs> But then you have influencers just doing the same copy-paste shit to hoard subscribers and money and then throw it all away because something in their past was dug up. It's like, eh, okay. Uh, like on TikTok, there's so many trends all the time and it pisses me off because everyone hops on it hops off it, hops on it, hops off it. Just just for a few followers and some likes, you know. Like 
I'm mostly on Instagram. Whenever I'm bored, I just kind of hop on there and scroll. The same with Pinterest. Is there anything really to do there? No, but, <laughs> you know. Because, at least on my Instagram, there's just art everywhere. But then every now and again, because of course they need to have reels for some goddamn reason, these fucking makeup trends and shit pop up. But like, oh, the porcelain makeup challenge, where like, they put like a, f I haven't watched any of them, but I guess they put like a face mask on or something and then makeup on top of that and then peeled it off after. I've seen so many of them and it pisses me off <laughs> so much. Cause like, I've seen it once. I don't need to see it a million other times. My God. And like, it's not exactly the same, but like when a new anime drops and it instantly gets popular, it's like, I, I don't want to watch it anymore. Like, I'm not trying to be like, oh, unique or like gatekeep or whatever, but it's like, it just ruins the fun. It's like, oh, no, it's going to be everywhere. Like, I started watching this one because I heard a guy talk about it and I was like, oh, that seems fun. Literally like a couple of days after it was everywhere. It even had like gifts on Discord and I was like, God damn it. And I dropped it immediately. Cause like, can't you just let something be without making it a trend and making it super popular? It ruins the fun, it ruins the magic. Cause then it's just overexposed and everywhere, you know? Like it just makes me bored immediately. Because people aren't unique anymore, they're just doing what everyone else is doing so that they can be popular and gain validation. But then, like, no one has personalities. Everyone's just the same. Like, I want people with personalities. I don't want all these basic influencers that aren't one in a million. They're just a million. <laughs> like I get it some people just want to fit in rather than just being outsiders because I don't know but why <laughs> why like some people might be like oh your version was the best blah 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 but then other people say it to other people and it's like oh but who is the best then if there's so many You know? <laughs> like, I can't really remember that I've been on literally any kind of trend. Ever. Probably, like, maybe a little back in Musical.ly, but I had a private account of, like, five followers that were all my friends. Like... And just, like, old YouTube, which is fun home made videos, you know, or just casual vlogs that people just upload here and there. But now it's just overproduced content that has, like, no redeeming quality, you know? Absolutely zero. Because whenever I'm on YouTube, it's because I need to pass the time, I have nothing else to do, or I need to watch someone else eat while I eat. <laughs> or I need to sleep, so I listen to ASMR. Like, at least they are creative. A little more creative than everyone else, at least. Like, if I go on my YouTube right now, just to see what pops up. A lot of ASMR, that's for sure. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. It's just constant reaction channels and just... They need to be produced like a fucking movie. Like some commentary videos I like, you know? But others are just so boring. They just sit there and talk. Like... I don't know, be funny. <laughs> I wouldn't say I am, but like you can try at least. 
like I've said, there's some channels I actually find entertaining that do this kind of content. Like, since I have them on my homepage. Murasaki Juice. He's so funny. And the pictures he puts on screen, hilarious. It's like every other word is a new meme. <laughs> and Lazy. He's stupid, but he's funny. <laughs> But then you have people like, okay, I said I wasn't gonna mention them, but they popped up, so. Like, Anguin and Dumpy and all of them, they're so fucking boring. They're so boring. They have nothing to say. They just say the most bland things in the most straight, like, monotone voice. At least try, you know? <sighs> And like I said, people doing anything for views, literally anything. Pretending to die, pretending someone else is dead, eating themselves to death. It's like, oh my god. Like, what are you gonna do after you get that fame, huh? Like, like then there's no going back. You can't just change up your content because then no one's gonna watch you. <laughs> you know? Like, I like fun, <laughs> I don't wanna use the word, but quirky <laughs> videos, you know? that are actually fun to watch, not just commentary. Like, I guess, like, I don't know if my videos fall under that because I'm just sitting here blabbering with a drawing in the background. <laughs> like, I don't have a script. I did in one of my first videos, but then I ditched it. I was like, this took way too much effort. Oh, I don't wanna do that. And then I'm like, I'm gonna be stuck here for ages, <laughs> you know? I don't wanna do that. Like, I just want it to be casual. I want it to be fun. Not you have to sit down, pay an editor, have a 4K HD camera and like a super expensive mic. Like, wh what can you bring to the table? Literally nothing. You're breathing in my ear. <laughs> Getting so close to the microphone and just talking on and on about the same fucking thing for 20, 30 minutes. Ah. <sighs> <laughs> and like some of the thumbnails too they're, they're like you're doing too much you're doing too much like overexposing the colors and like oh uh uh I can't I can't do it <laughs> like I wasn't on YouTube when it was like brand new but I've seen like stuff and other videos about it and like it looked so much more fun like you just pick up your phone or whatever shitty camera you had and just record it whatever you wanted for fun like like a vlog you know or just you holding your phone pointing at like a, a sheet of paper while you draw or something but now it has, has to be this hyper edited content that needs to be put out every now and again like <sighs> like I okay so I do watch some like review content you know of all sorts of things but it's like there's so much overconsumption everywhere all the fucking time. <laughs> all the time. Like, what do you do with all that stuff afterwards? Like, some people, like, disclose that, oh, I'm gonna be doing a giveaway or I'm gonna donate everything, but it's like... You do these videos, like, two times a week. You have so much stuff. Someone did comment on one of my videos that I should be more positive. <laughs> like, you know, talk about things I like rather than things I hate and whatnot. And I will. I have some planned. Like talking about my favorite anime or my favorite movies because I have a lot. And I'm passionate about it. <laughs> you know, like casual content like that rather than like, oh, a series on TikTok is going viral. I have to sit down and talk to you about it. Or like, some social media star got cancelled. It's like, I don't care. 
I don't care because they're doing the same fucking shit. Like every influencer is doing the same thing. Why should I care? Why should I care that this person does it slightly different than everyone else? You're still the same. Like makeup gurus, I could never get behind any makeup guru because they do the same thing all the time. Like, I mean, do what you want to do, obviously. You know? But at least be creative about it. Damn. So every now and again, like I've said, some small channels pop up and I just have to click on it because most of the time they're really entertaining. And they're actually like something to watch because they're not just processed content farms, you know? Like, I would even go as far as to say Tov. Like, I am subscribed to him, but oh my god, is he boring. He- I'm sorry, he is. <laughs> he is. And like, even some YouTubers that I watch all the time whenever they post, I don't like their stuff. I'm just doing it, like I said, to pass the time or to eat. <laughs> like, other than that, they're so two-dimensional. Which, like, I know Instagram is bad. I know it's shit. People fake stuff. People edit their photos. Like, but I don't have that on my feed. I hate Instagram. I do. But sometimes it's good. Like, if I hop in right now, my explore page has some things that I don't like already. But there's mostly art, which is really fun to look at, or like people making things, like selling adoptables, which is fun. There's cosplay, but then there's also like makeup reviewers and shit, or like reviews, and it's like, I have to click not interested because I'm not, because it's so boring. It's so boring. And like... I'm not one for basic bitches. <laughs> I mean, like, people say that everyone tries to be unique these days, but, but they're not, though. They're not. Since when were people trying to be unique? <laughs> like, in trying to do that, everyone just turns into the same thing. Like, that whole faking disorders thing on TikTok. One person started doing it, everyone started doing it. And then, like, you're already not unique. But then it's like, no, I have different ticks from theirs. You don't have them, though. Like, you're doing the same thing by pretending you have them. Like, the only good thing I really saw out of, like, everyone trying to do the same thing was TikTok in 2020 doing, like, the, you know, the lockdown and <laughs> classic fashion style of that like that tiktok alt i still want that style and i am trying to get it because i thought that was fun <laughs> like where you had different tiktok communities like it could be on deep tiktok it can be an alt tiktok art tiktok book talk or you can be on like basic tiktok <laughs> you know But now it's just fast pace, boring ass stuff. And like food reviews. Like I said, like super quick, just mind numbing content. Or like weekly reports. Or like, oh, this happened, so I'm gonna sit here and talk super fast about it. About some random stuff and text pop up on the screen. Ugh. Like, I, on my TikTok, I just post slideshows of my art because what what else am I gonna do? <laughs> I'm not setting up my phone and doing a food review, like, oh, this food went viral, so I'm gonna sit down and talk about it. No. <laughs> I won't give in. Not to mention that everyone looks the same these days. Everyone looks the exact same. 
Like, back when I had my angel fang piercings, because I had them, took them out, got them again, took them out. <laughs> I don't want them again. Like, I do, but I don't because I have a lot of piercing stuff on my Instagram too. Everyone gets them. Everyone has them. And it's like, I don't want to look like you, so I'm just going to have, like, none. I'm going to have no piercings, then I'm going to look different. Because, like, when everyone starts doing the same thing, you not doing it makes you different. <laughs> <laughs> I sound so edgy. I sound like a pick me. Like, oh, I'm not like other girls. But that's not what I'm trying to do. I'm just saying that people are boring as fuck these days. Just so boring. And like, no one has a personality anymore. And there's like tips. You know, like, oh, do this, not that. I don't care. I'm gonna do whatever I want. You can tell me what to do. Thank you. Ugh. And like once those like 10 year old Sephora girls were like talked about, everyone talked about it. Everyone suddenly had crazy stories. Everyone suddenly had them at every store. Like you don't need to show it off though. If, like if they're just standing there looking at things to buy, why do you have to laugh at them? Or be like, oh my god, the 10 year olds are here. Like, they're just trying to buy, like, one thing. Skincare, probably not. But if it's, like, a little tube of mascara, who the fuck cares? Like, I tried makeup when I was a child. Like, <laughs> let them. Where they get the money from for, like, super expensive stuff, I have no idea. But it's, like, when that happened, everyone talked about it. Everyone talked about it. Like, why would I watch your video when I just watched someone else talk about the exact same thing? In the exact same manner. Just a different face. Like, I miss when you could log on to YouTube and there were so many different things everywhere. Like, even Mr. Beast is so fucking boring. I know he gets so many views, but he's so boring. His challenges aren't entertaining at all. They just fast forward most of the process or else you'll be stuck there and it's like, okay. And the dating games. Why the fuck would I care who you, who you're with? Like, and posting like couples content. I don't care. Hey, maybe I'm asexual, maybe I'm aromantic. I don't fucking know, but I just don't care about you and your loved partner. Like, why should I care? At all. <laughs> Literally at all. You don't need to show me. And it's like announcing you're pregnant. It's like, I don't need to know you did that with them. I don't want to know that. It's like, oh, we're trying for a baby. Shut the fuck up. That's so gross. Oh my god. <laughs> it's so gross. It's like, oh, you're just mad because you're single. No. <laughs> I'm mad because, like, who cares? Genuinely. Unless it's, like, your friend, maybe. It's like, why should I care if... Taylor Swift got with this random dude. I never cared about her. Why should I care if she has a boyfriend? I'm a Taylor Swift hater. <laughs> I am, though. Like, meet my new boyfriend videos. It's like, Q&A with my boyfriend, Q&A with my girlfriend. I don't care. Genuinely, I don't care. <laughs> I don't need to know the ins and outs of your relationship, please. Like, everything is just so oversaturated and oversexualized and just mass produced bullshit. I want fun videos. I just want simple, almost unedited, and posted videos of you just doing whatever the fuck you want, whatever you like to do. Like, don't just hop on, like, trends just to get some recognition and then fade into obscurity, you know? Get into the spotlight, but doing your own thing. 
so inspirational <laughs> just be yourself be unique <laughs> Ugh. it's like kind of the same with music too everyone just does the same thing like I don't want to say it but I am going to Ice Spice couldn't care less about that bitch couldn't care less about her she didn't do anything she became a meme and then suddenly she was like super popular like you don't have the gift <laughs> and then I listen to other people that barely have any listeners and they have such like great talent but no it's only like the stupid basic ass music that gets popular Just <sighs> don't like it, <laughs> like at all. Or it's like getting bullied for listening to a certain type of music. It's like at least I don't listen to Taylor Swift. Anything is better than Taylor Swift. <laughs> like I don't care if like oh they're industry plants or oh. But no one likes that kind of music. It's like, yeah, but I do. Why do you have to judge me on what I like to listen to? You know? Like, everyone just does the same thing for validation. And money. But then everyone just looks the same. And it's like, why would I give you a moment of my time? You know? Like, you don't need to watch people blabbering on about the same topic you can just google it you'll find it yourself <laughs> you will though you'll find it yourself i could just miss when everything was fun and everyone had their own thoughts But no, there has to be fashion hauls, makeup hauls, makeup tutorials, and like skincare routines and story times. Like, it gets boring. Maybe that's why I haven't done any story time videos. I don't know. <laughs> Do I even have any stories to talk about? I can talk shit, but <laughs> I don't think I have anything to talk about specifically. No, not really. <laughs> Only like tiny little like like two sentence stories. That's all that's all I can come up with. <laughs> but, like I would kind of go as far as to say that a lot of big YouTubers are just content farms. Like everyone talks about these like animated like Minecraft videos and like whatever that they are content farms. But you are too, though. <laughs> like, you just post about the same thing that everyone else does. I can, I can think about a lot of people, actually. <laughs> that do that. I don't know if I- I don't know if I- I don't know if I wanna be in the- <laughs> In the fiery pit of hell by winging that app. I have five minutes left to talk. I don't know if I really have anything else to say. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> I can announce that the keychains I ordered from my Etsy shop are on the way. They'll be here around the middle of March. So then I will put them up again on my Etsy as like a normal order, not a pre-order. There's a limit of 10. I only have 10 of each design sadly because <laughs> I don't know how many people are gonna actually buy them so I didn't want to buy like 50 of each you know that would be a bit much and I have a lot of designs that I want to turn into keychains and stickers and stuff so and I also ordered pink packaging because I'm not using those basic white ugly ones like I'm gonna give you pink I love pink so you're gonna get pink they have like bubble wrap on the inside <laughs> And I will probably give a handwritten note with everything because why the fuck would I just 
make one note and print it out in masses. It's like, I don't feel special when people do that. <laughs> I don't. And like, I have nothing else going on in my life, so I have time to do that. So. But yeah, the video's coming to an end. <laughs> it's been a week since I took the second skin off on my tattoo, and it's doing really good. But. <laughs> He's so close to like my inner elbow that whenever I like bend my arm, the tattoo gets so stretched. <laughs> and it looks so stupid. It looks so bad. Like not bad, like it just it's it's funny. <laughs> it's funny. I also want to thank people for getting me to a thousand followers on TikTok. A thousand and ten to be specific. <laughs> I don't think, like, a lot of them don't know I have a YouTube channel, but, like, if you do, and if you're f from TikTok, then thank you. <laughs> Thanks. But I'm currently shadow banned, so. You know. Also, I didn't want to bring it up, but since I don't have anything to watch, I used to be a Husband Hotel fan when the pilot dropped, and a Vivsi fan years before that. I'm really trying not to watch it because I am low-key a hater. <laughs> I am. Why? I don't know. I hate on every aspect of it, but I have nothing else to watch and I'm trying my hardest not to watch it. But my friends are pestering me and trying to drag me back into it. I already ordered Angel Dust phone cases and I don't- I'm not happy with it. I'm not happy with my purchase. <laughs> but I'm just- I'm just saying that- I don't know if it's worth it. I don't know if it's worth sacrificing my mental health to watch that show, but you know, if. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, that's about it. I have enough. I don't have nothing else to talk about. I can say that this drawing is one of my favorites, though. I really love it. And I might have found a school I'm gonna apply to. <gasps> oh, something's happening in my life. Oh my god. So I'm going to ask the one this coming Thursday to go visit the school and see how it is and work, maybe work with illustration. Ooh, it would be fun if I could work as like an illustrator for like a, a book. Ooh, ooh. It costs money to go there, but it looks fun. <laughs> but yeah, again, that's all I had to say. That's all I had to talk about. So whenever I feel like posting again, you will see me. So... Toodles. <laughs> I don't know what that was. <laughs>